Last time on Diana Games Through Time, we looked at Quarantine for MS DOS. This game had Diana driving around as a cab driver in the mid 21st century. The city she had to navigate was riddled with crime and non stop murder. And while the sense of speed and high frame rate was great, the 3D still felt quite primitive. The next game we play will add full motion video to the mix, so let's see how it goes. Welcome to another episode of Diana Games Through Time. In this series, Diana will play a PC game from each year starting in 1978, moving forward to modern times as we watch the graphics and complexity of the games evolve year by year. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Phantasmagoria for MS-DOS. In this game, you play a lady who's moved to a remote mansion with her husband, although the house seems to have a supernatural presence within it. Will Dinah encounter anything mysterious within the house? Keep watching to find out. So here you are with Phantasmagoria for MS-DOS. This game came out at the peak of popularity for interactive movie games and features live action actors and footage. Remember I said Myst um, from 1993 was a huge game that required a CD-ROM as it was yes. too big to fit on floppy disks? Well this game requires seven CDs to fit it. Oh my god, what <laughs> so a big game! Seven times bigger than wow. Myst. Okay, anyway, this is a point and click interactive film horror adventure game that uses full motion video in its gameplay. The use of full motion video briefly became popular, especially around the time this game was released, but it actually quickly faded away due to the limited nature of gameplay options that full motion video allows. Anyway, you can start playing now. With so many um, discs, I'm just wondering how long is the game supposed to last? Like, the previous game was like 40 hours. What, what's this one? Um, this one, it's not necessarily that it's longer than Mist. In fact, you could probably finish this in about four hours. Right. But it's got lots of full motion video. And oh, that's what makes it take that's... longer. So, like, actors and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, right. Mist was mostly static, if you yeah. know what I mean. Anyway, um, grab the mouse, move it into the center. That's what you'll be mostly using for this. Mostly, a mouse, okay. yeah. Okay, you can click start new game. Uh, type your name or click your name in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what you, you got the option. Do you want to use the mouse or the keyboard? Okay. So there's enough story packed into this game, but just so you know, a couple recently purchased a remote mansion previously owned by a 19th century magician whose five wives all died mysteriously. Um, you play as the wife of the couple, known as Adrian, who is basically a novelist. And wants Adrienne to use the, or Adrian? Adrian or something. Uh, she's basically a novelist and she wants to use the house as inspiration for her mm -hmm. next book. So this is her. You kind of just watch for now. It's just like a movie cutscene at the start. Morning, honey. Good morning, sweetheart. How about some coffee? Yeah, big one. Somebody kept me up last night. Well, I'm sorry I had a nightmare. It was probably just spending the night in a new house is all. Yeah, I know. I have to admit, this place is kind of strange. Yeah, it's different. You know, I bet the guy that built this place must have been really bizarre. Well, hi, Spaz. How you doing? Spaz? <laughs> Funny cat name. Hey. What are you gonna do today, sweetheart? Well, I don't know. I'm almost finished unpacking. Thought maybe I'd do a little exploring. Yeah. How about you? Do you see that bathroom yet on the second floor? Yeah. I like that. I think I'm gonna turn it into a photo lab for myself. Keep me busy for a week or so. That's a good idea. What's in that box? Well, I don't know. I haven't gone through it yet. Let's see. Oh, it's Christmas morning. Oh, look at this. Why? Just a sec. You remember this? Yeah. Yeah, I gave you this for Halloween. Rats? <laughs> you know it was Christmas Eve. It was the night you proposed to me. Are you sure I proposed to you? Yes. Of course I remember. Of course I do. I better get to work. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna keep this little fella with me, though. So I'll always remember that faithful night. <laughs> well, don't wait too hard. See you later. So 
So just so you know, the full motion video of the actors was captured using a blue screen so that it could be placed on top of the pre-rendered 3D background. So this game is actually not 3D, it's 2D, even right. though the pre-rendered 3D backgrounds simulate the feeling of 3D space. Yeah. So anyway, you're playing now. Oh. You're actually ready, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's just she's having ready. a cup of coffee. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the mouse pointer, you just move the mouse around the screen. There you go. So it turns red when there's something you can explore or do. So first of all, look for something where it turns red and then you can try and click. Okay, so she's getting up out of a chair. So this is the character you control. Um, so have a little look around, yep. Here's another part of the kitchen. There's also a little drawer there too. Mm -hmm. See how she kind of goes to where you click? Yeah. And you can see if there's any objects in the drawer. See, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty guiding the way it yeah, turns it red. Is. So she's picked up something out of the drawer, and in the bottom you'll notice there's eight black boxes. Now she's just become absolutely yeah, like a stunned mun mullet. Yeah, she's absolutely frozen because you're not telling her to do anything, so it's just she freezes, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, she even acts a bit possessed. It goes on with the horror story. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, there's eight black boxes at the bottom of the screen. Can you see them? And I've... that's the object that you just picked up. Okay. If you want to know what that object is, simply click on the object and now click on that weird head. A book of matches. So you've got a book of matches. And if you want to see a closer look at it... So it click a on... box of matches. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, a book of matches. Um, and you can click on the other red thing on the other side at the bottom, the red thing over there. Yep. And that just shows you what it looks like. You can click to kind of have a little look around it. It is a box of matches. It's not a yeah. book of matches. It's yeah. a box of matches. <laughs> well, I guess they call it a book maybe in the US. Okay. Okay. So that kind of solves that. <laughs> you can close that. Now at the top, there's like almost like a pretend X. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. So time to do a bit of exploring. You can click on a door if you want to go into a room and explore. You've oh, got to put the got match the... back in your inventory. Yeah. Okay, okay, so explore this room. What do you see? Like, kind of... It's dark, eh? It's the light, <laughs> so you can see better. So you don't click to go out of the room yet. Just see if there's anything else to explore here. So that would be out of the room. When the, when the arrow does that, it means out of the room. See if there's any objects to explore. Ah, oh, okay. You'd think she would have already have explored the house before she bought it. You know what I mean? You've already clicked. <sighs> no, so that's obviously locked. So you're going to need to find an object oh. that's going to help you. Well, it's a, this was made by the same person. Remember King's okay. Quest? Do you remember that game, yeah. King's Quest? It was made by that same person. So... <laughs> so now I have to try and find where a key is. Yeah. So maybe go to a different room now and see if you can find a key. Oh, she's just washing her hands. Yeah, just have a cup of water. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's funny how they've programmed all these little things and filmed her doing various things around the house. Maybe you can try that doorway there. The fridge. <laughs> she might try something from the fridge. This is simulating a housewife's life <laughs> without the cleaning. Okay, now you're, you're in another room now. There's a photo on the wall. While the motion is playing, like the video is playing, you can't do anything, oh, okay. just so you know. But anyway, it's finished now. Um, there's also a fireplace there if you want to check it out. Now, see if there's any objects around here that might be able to help you out. Do you want to know what that object is? A fire stoker, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you want to use an object, you can click on it in the inventory. Um, just wait till she's finished staring at the fire. Do you notice the problem with full motion video games yeah. so far? There's a bit of waiting involved. So click on the fire stoker. Yeah. So click on that object, then click on the fire. Ah, uh, okay. So it's like... Yeah, 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 it's like you're using this object on the fire. So she's got all this in her pockets, basically. Everything, she can fit eight things in a pocket. 
I don't know how she fits a fire stoker in a pocket. But do you think that was Didn't something that can be used for something else other than a fire? No, not really. Or like maybe a trap door, possibly. Oh, you think that might be the key thing? You might want to go door. back to the trap door and check it out. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying... I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have thought it was just a fire stoker. Yeah, this game is actually known to be extremely easy and unlike other adventure games, it doesn't require much thinking. Uh, well, I thought it required thinking <laughs> because I wouldn't have guessed that a fire stoker would be for... Oh, you got to turn the light on first. Oh, they're always But the you light. have to put that away first. Okay, there you go. Turn the light on. See, this is the thing about full motion video. There's a lot of waiting. It feels limited in your movement. You know what I mean? Although yeah. it looks kind of cool, the graphics are like, wow. It feels oh, she's like not using it as a key. She's using it to try and like. Yeah, get it open. Yeah, okay. Well, fair yeah. enough. That's logical. Yeah. Just to pry it open. Yeah. Okay. Come does on. it feel like Let's you're see. watching a movie or playing it does. a game? No, watching a movie. <laughs> it's like a mix. It is. No, it's good. It's entertaining, actually. But that's where they feel like the, this kind of thing oh, fails. Oh, wow, look at that. The thing about this is they feel... She's going to go down. People who want to m watch a movie will find it annoying because they want to watch a so movie and not have to click on things. Her. Now you okay. can probably go down. Yep, go on. Wow, that would be quite incredible. I can see a thing down there. Do you have a candle or light? Well, you've got two things at the moment. Oh, you've she got needs me to think. A box for of her. matches, and you've got. Think you've got a box of matches. Wait, I'm just. No, you can't click on any. You've, you're now closing it up. Oh, think of well, it don't like close this. Close it up. I want you to go down there. <laughs> think of it like oh, this. Oh, you're wasting your time because you're going to be opening it right <laughs> up again. Are you feeling the issue with full motion video and games yeah, now? I you am, are. Actually. They're slow, they're a bit annoying, but they kind of looked cool for the time. Now you're getting out of the room, apparently. Oh, well, stop turning <laughs> off the light because you've only got to turn it back on again. Okay, we'll skip to you oh. going back. I'll, I'll get you in. It's open, okay? The trapdoor is open. You've got a box of matches, remember? But I'm not going to hold a match to look down unless there's something to light it down. Well, there. maybe there is. So, how about you give her the matches. So we've given her the matches now. How did you give her the matches? By the clicking matches? on the matches, then giving it to her. Like oh, clicking on okay. her. Okay, okay, okay. So now she's lighting a match and yeah. she'll be able to investigate. Well, I hope she isn't just going to hold it. I mean, matches run out. <laughs> if she's going to wait for me to click something, she'll end up burning a fuse. <laughs> Seriously, she doesn't have a torch or a candle. You know? Oh, great. I, I thought, oh my gosh, what's that? Oh no, that's... It's a, a light thing. Oh, well, do the light here. No, if she's moving, she'll, yeah. she'll do it. Like, no, no, It's I only just when she stops it. moving that oh, you need okay. to think. <laughs> well, I clicked it and she did. So now you can explore what's down here. Oh, wow. Imagine finding something... Like this under, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all the dust. Oh, dusty. It looked to be fake though. <laughs> Who would be talking to themselves? I because it's a game, it's, she's got to kind of explain me. what she feels. Um there it does look like there's something on the ground if you want to check it out. A hammer. Yeah. I don't know what she's gonna do with the hammer. Maybe go over there with it. Yuck, I wouldn't do that for Oh, me. yeah, I wouldn't be taking... Mm. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, maybe we get out of this room now. Let's let's head out, out well, of this what, basement. What was the point of explore that? Explore the rest of the house. Have a look at that. I'll tell you, the real reason you came down here was to get that hammer. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just an object that you'll need later. <laughs> that was it? Yeah, that was, that was the reason you came all the way so down there's here. nothing else here. Yes. Okay. So there we go, leaving now. Well, at least you got the hammer. You know, you got yeah. you got something. Does it kind of make you feel frustrated wishing, I wish I could just move around myself yeah, rather than telling her what to do? Then she's just this annoying thing. I do, but this is better than static and I don't know. And Do you feel it's better or worse than mist? Well, I like the mist of the 2014. Current, yeah. yeah that but do one. you feel that it's better or worse than the original clicking mist? 
Because at least then it was kind of you. It was no, first person. I like this, like this because person. I know. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I prefer this. This okay. is. Yeah, I'm getting into this. Okay. Now you know she's going to close the door. If you want to skip this animation again, you click the double arrows. If you just want to skip that, because you know what she's going to do. Okay. There we go. So let's check out another part of the house. Some part of the house that you just haven't even checked out okay. yet. Okay. Okay. Off you go. Okay, and through the door. Go on. We've clicked, we've done And there's the a reception room over there. Oh, this is another part of the house I guess you can look at if you want. It's just the other part of the room there's... There's a mirror. A mirror, yeah. And then she does <laughs> Do you feel like you're really controlling a girl character? Uh, well, Like, usually yes, you now. can't control a guy character, but... <laughs> I doubt the guy character would be there. You do, then that's the case. And then, <laughs> oh, what's this mirror? Yes, mm. investigating. Unless you... I remember something I used to watch in the 80s, Fonz. He used to carry a comb and comb his hair and just... So, no, actually, he'd look in the mirror and about to comb his hair and then just go, yeah, as if (laughs) he doesn't need it. He's perfect. I remember Fonz. Well, you can pretty much um, go into a different room now because you've kind of... You've seen what this room is, so downwards. Wait, not there. Well, actually, I didn't... I haven't explored what this room is. (laughs) Actually, this is... I've never seen this one before. <laughs> I didn't actually outside. plan for you to go here, but this is this is outdoors. Oh, oh, wow! Look at that. I would hate to have a backyard like that. To be honest, it looks that's kind of quite creepy. creepy. Yeah. Okay, we might go back inside. No, not necessarily. Well, You've already clicked over there. there. There is also up there. I've never been up there before. Wait, I'm just having a look. Oh, we can have to wait for it to walk all the way. Oh, there we go. It looks a bit broken, actually, whatever that is. Going to hear the birds. Yeah. Gosh, this place is creepy. Yeah, it is. It, look, are they gravestones? Yeah. yeah. And it looks like something up here. I actually, this is completely off, uh, off like, my script now of what I, because I kind of had a bit of a plan for you to go in certain places. Well, I'm exploring. <laughs> what better to explore out of your plan? Yeah, we'll head back to the house off camera and continue our journey. Oh, wait. Uh, can you stop getting further and further off path? Where is she going now? I'm so lost. That's too far. It's going to be a long jump. Can you try at least? Anything's possible in a game. <laughs> not this oh. game. <laughs> she walks... I like how she backs her. Like, I'm not even going to look at where you want me to go right now. Anyway, I'll take you back to, you know, where we were. Okay, so see that room there. Oh, so that was the room. So yeah, that's. I was trying to get you to go that way. <laughs> I didn't even see that room. So this is like the main. Um... Gosh, who has a house like this? Yeah, this is the reception room. Wow. <laughs> so you can go and have a few little explorations of what's over Wait, here. Look, there's another fireplace. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's a newspaper on the ground too. See the newspaper? Yeah. Just in case you need it for something later on. Did she not even know the newspaper was there? Yeah, she just seems to have just discovered it. Uh, what does it say it is? Just have a little look at what it is. Let's see, what is this? The local newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so like creepy. The local the newspaper. Local newspaper. <laughs> oh, how creepy. We wouldn't, we wouldn't want to look at that. <sighs> well, yeah. I mean, now you're looking at Don't look <laughs> at it. It's a local newspaper. <laughs> okay, good point. Okay, put it in a slot somewhere. Okay. Oh, look at all the corridors. Yeah, this is creepy. So there's a lot of locked doors in this house, isn't there? Wouldn't she have explored it all before she bought it? As a real it? estate agent, you know, like, you don't buy a house without, unless you've seen every single room, you don't buy the house. A piano here. How many pianos come with the house? <laughs> yeah. You mean how many houses come with a piano? Oh, said, how no, many pianos I mean... come with a house? <laughs> I well, mean... not many. <laughs> I don't think any would. No, I meant how many houses come with a piano? <laughs> I didn't even realise. Like here's a I'm piano, so comes involved. with a free house. I'm... <laughs> I'm so involved in this story. There's um, a little door over there. Can... Oh, that's a piano playing music now. Oh, look at those statues there yeah. too. Oh, everything's locked. <laughs> I can't believe the real estate agent didn't show her. I'll let you go to the real estate a little later and have a little yeah. talk to him. Oh, can you? Yeah, you can. You can go no to the real estate way. and have a chat and Well, I'll complain. say, thanks a lot for not showing me all the rooms <laughs> and not giving me any keys. This is just 
such a weird, creepy house, isn't it? It is, yeah. Now what's here? There's something... Alcohol. You kind of know what to click because when you... Yeah, you do stuff, it's like, oh, red. Red, yeah. that's so the it's, one. It's, it was aiming it to be you. very easy, yeah. What is this? Well, that's what you're going to tell me. Absence. Absence. Don't tell me she's going to drink it now. No. <laughs> Remember she goes to the barrel and like, yeah, it? let's just drink the random mystery Could red stuff. Could you take stuff. it? Um, no, no, you can't. So we'll keep exploring this house. Now, there's a staircase if you want to go check out upstairs. I do, actually. Let's see. Where, wow, look at that Oh, I love spiral, spiral staircases. <laughs> but this isn't the house you'd ever buy, is it? Well, it's pretty grand, but I'd decorate it differently. <laughs> it's, it's not my taste. Old fashioned, but yeah. It's, um, whoa, I like the room in it. Yeah. Very grand. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, you can go into the room and have No, a I thought look. that was back down again. No, no I was getting no. mixed up. There's some kind of a bedroom here. What a weird bedroom that comes with an entry like that. I think that guy there was a magician that owned the house. Uh-huh. Before, actually. He looks... Like he's got a secret. <laughs> okay. He's not obviously going to say what it is. <laughs> I don't think a painting can talk. Well, and he's a magician. Know. Looks like Hopefully a jewellery box. Uh, keys? No, that was your mouse. <laughs> you thought the mouse I thought was the key. I, thought it was... I was like, oh, it's a key, but then you moved it. A ring? Who buys a house and has it furnished <laughs> and they don't even know what's in it? They're going to explore it now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna explore. Oh, there's the a jewelry box with a ring. Oh, okay, leave it there. You know, <laughs> great. I've got a spare ring now. I mean, seriously, it's People almost filmed it. in a funny way too. Like, it's not really like you'd see on the TV. It's almost like drawn but live, like a painting come alive. She's real. None of this is real. Oh. So this isn't a real room and stuff that she's on. A few objects are real. Maybe like the bed yeah, cover yeah. that she's on now. Yeah, but not everything is real. Okay. Now she just has a sleep. <laughs> I bet you she falls into a dream. Oh, wish I could get to sleep that quickly. <laughs> oh. Hands. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Don. I'd be scared too. Don. He left the house, remember? Honey. Oh, okay? what? He's back. Oh, the bed. What? The bed grabbed me. <laughs> the bed grabbed you? Yes. <laughs> oh, here, calm down. Calm down. Wait here, wait here, all right? Just wait here. I'll no, stop. don't! Just calm down. They grabbed me. You can use See? that one. It's okay, Ela. See? Nothing wrong. Did they not even Goodness. know that paper's there? Well, a drafty house has your imagination going, doesn't it? <laughs> Sweetheart. I'm going to get back to work. Are you going to be okay? Yes. You sure? Yes. I thought he left the house. No, I think you're working in the upstairs. Oh, you want to turn that into a photo yeah. room or something? Okay. So. Because when he left, I thought he actually left. No, her. I'm going to work. I think he just I thought, like, gosh, he has good hearing if you he can hear her calling. Yeah, okay, you can come out of the room now. I just want to see if there's something there. That's a very old fashioned lounge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's just sitting on a lounge. You're just going to sit on the lounge. So I believe um, the husband is working actually right nearby. He is. Down the hall, I'd say. And least, in that room, I think, yeah. At least someone's working. <laughs> What's she doing? I'm just watching him work. Hey, honey. No. Damn it. Are you okay? Yeah. This could never slipped. It's a damn drain. Let me see. Oh, I'm okay. Really, um, you know what I can use? Some drain cleaner. Do I have any? I don't think so. 
She's not very helpful, is she? No. I don't think so. Not. Oh, let me have a look. <laughs> Damn! These old pipes really are clogged. Is there anything I can do? <laughs> yeah, give me that wrench. You find the acting is not safe, Thanks, right? Honey. Yeah. It's a little bit off. That he's just working in that. You now can leave she's gone him. into zombie mode. Yeah, zombie waiting for you to do something. Okay, you can leave the room so now. So I don't think there's anything. Adrian, be careful. That lamp is not secure yet. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> do it anyway. Maybe if you wait for him to go away. <laughs> okay, you can keep exploring now. Yeah? chair is that? <laughs> a torture <laughs> strip chair? Who has that sort of chair in their house? Well, the first thing you wanted to look at was the weird... Yeah, that but thing. that was until I noticed that. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's an electric chair. <laughs> How many people have an electric chair? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, now. did you see something in the chair behind her? She's constantly doing it. <laughs> she's so up herself oh, honestly, that she's like, yeah, I I don't even notice the weird, mysterious electric things happening in the background. Okay, okay she's finished. The room now. She's finished looking at herself in the mirror. Oh. How many locked doors in this house? <laughs> Just goes to show that I swear you... I'd complain. <laughs> I would never have bought a house that with all yeah. these locked doors and. Because unless you've seen the whole house, how do you know how much it's worth? I mean, what happened at the Why inspection? Why the key stuck in the keyhole? And then the key stuck in the keyhole too. Oh, she obviously she didn't get it. a builder's report. Maybe if she banged it with a hammer it, a bit on this side, it would fall out, and then she. Could... You'll figure out what to do later. Oh, um, okay. Actually, not within this playthrough, though. Okay. So we'll check another room now. A teddy bear? Yeah, this looks like a child's room. Oh, jeez. I can't believe somebody would buy a house mm. and then after they've bought it, decide to explore it and it's all fully furnished. It's got thing, electric chairs, teddy bears. <laughs> electric I mean, chairs honestly, and teddy bears. <laughs> oh, it's even got a cot. What's that? Is that? She's even wondering. Oh, that's quite creepy. Above the cot. You wouldn't want to put your baby in there. I'd move the cot, I think. <laughs> God, what is this? Yeah, exactly. Is that like a mist or is that on the wall? Looks like a baby, that picture. Yeah, it does. So, back down the stairs. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a bit lost in this house, actually. It's. A, oh yeah, that's this guy. That's where. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's on the toilet. Oh really? Yeah. Seriously. I'm reading a newspaper. Now I, I can touch that light. No, he's getting up now. Oh. <laughs> I'm just looking at my plans here, trying to figure out the best way for me to do this. Wow, you've been alive. Yeah, really coming along. Did you want something, sweetheart? Oh, no, I just came to see how you were doing. She really doesn't seem to do much, does she? <laughs> anyway, you can come out now. I can do this better myself, please. Oh. Okay, jeez. I'm sorry, hon. I'm just trying to get this done. Oh. Sure, hon. Have it your way. <laughs> that was really annoying. Uh, and that, were, that was quite the yeah. chopping, yeah. Maybe go this yeah. way. 
get out. Oh, I don't think you've been in that room. See, There's a bed there. Let's see if this bed has sweeter dreams than the other one. <laughs> I don't think she's going to want to go to sleep on a bed again. I think that's... Yeah, she, she's like, yeah, let's, let's not lie down on the bed that hands could come. The bed might grab me again. <laughs> Imagine if there was someone who was actually scared of beds, where beds, they think the beds are going to grab them. There seems to be a phobia for anything, so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was a... Bed phobia. Bed, bedophobia or something. Bedophobia. Oh, should we do our oh, not in the, the mirror mirrors again? again? She is so upset. Oh, my God. All the mirrors. I mean, we get that it's a girl character. I don't it's think... It's over the top with the mirrors. Yeah, I don't think that her husband's... That... Oh, there's a... That looks like Jesus, actually. Oh, no, it's from a distance it did, but obviously not from close up. That almost looks like her. Oh, yeah, a little bit. I think she's going to look in the mirror again, but it's a draw. That. A letter. My dearest Gaston, I can't wait to see you, my angel. It's been far too long. Let's, Let's take, take a few, few moments, moments for ourselves, ourselves during Zoltan's party next week. We'll meet in the gazebo, away from all the revelry. Angel, how I yearn for your sweet kiss. Your strong arms holding me tight. Protecting me. And oh my dear, I need protecting. I'm afraid my husband's beginning to suspect. He watches me night and day. Perhaps we can steal away, run away, forever from his sight. My only consolation is thoughts of you, my angel. Always your adoring love, Marie. <laughs> Boy. And that was just left. And that was just left with the house. What's that? Have a look. Cards, it looks like. What kind of cards? Well, they're in the oh, pocket she's now, got see? Them. She's got them. Do you want to see? Uh, know what they are? Yeah, I do, actually. A deck of tarot cards. Tarot cards. I, I see. <laughs> there we go. And? So I think we might head off on a little drive outside now. So we're going to go downstairs. And we're going to go have a little drive, see what's outside in the town and everything. Mm -hmm. And see if we can have a chat to this real estate agent about the house. What about that? Oh, that looks like a... What the hell is that? A fortune oh, reader thing. Imagine right. your house coming with that. A token. I'll try it out. Oh, and there was a token. <laughs> yeah, to just so happened to be one there. Gosh, I'd like to know how many houses come with these, <laughs> all of this. What kind of a house is it? An electric chair, fortune teller, teddy bear. Wow. <laughs> teddy bear. A hands-on bed. bed. <laughs> Evil will walk once oh, more. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So finally, uh, so by the way, this game was known for how scary and violent, like really scarily violent, but it apparently doesn't really start kicking off till later in the game. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know how the beginning of a movie is quite calm and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I This know. is kind of what you're experiencing now at the moment. Anyway, time to go for a drive somewhere. So there's a car. Is this just the weirdest game, like, unlike anything else you've played? It is, actually. It really is. I wonder why this sort of thing didn't take off, because, I mean... Feel it's... how limited it is. Oh. It is limited. And think once 3D comes out, you can't really have full motion video anymore, because it's a 2D thing. She didn't even tell him she was going. Oh, yeah, no, it just went off. The general store... Aren't people walking oh, by? Oh, there's a little dog. I wonder <laughs> if I can pat the dog. Oh, yeah, you can pat the dog. Oh, oh wow. wow. What a good boy. Sounds like Jazzy with her dog. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, um, check out the blue house down there. Let's see what this is. Robert Tompkins Realty. Okay, well, now I'm going to complain to the real yeah, estate agent. Yeah, you finally have a chat to him. At least that door's not locked. <laughs> <laughs> They're always open. I think it's a real estate agent. They've always got many doors open. Okay. Well, hello there, little lady. What can I do you for? Yeah, are sense. you Bob Tompkins? When's the last time I took a look? <laughs> My husband bought a house from you. Mm, too 
bad you got a husband, honey. Oh, <laughs> boy, that's great. Forward. Too bad you got a husband. I wasn't. What's his name? Asshole. What was that? Gordon. What's oh, his name? Donald Gordon. <laughs> she called him asshole. Gordon. Oh my gosh. Gibson, Gleason, Gordon. Yeah. Donald Gordon. Here we go. Oh. Who's them people what took over the old Caravash estate? It's Carnivash. I remember now. Your husband was that photographer what takes the pictures for those magazines. Yeah. Huh. Well, my husband works for several magazines. Yeah. He's doing a project for Newsday magazine right now. Yeah. And you, little lady, uh, you're a writer, huh? Yes. Yeah. I'm a novelist. Little oh, <laughs> a novelist. He sounds very condescending. So what have you noveled? <laughs> have you heard of a book called Blue Moon Rising? No, can't say I have. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, young lady, unless there's something else, I think we'll cut this chit chat for today. I got a lot of work to do. I got another client I'm going to meet. Yeah, okay. I bet you do. They're <laughs> <laughs> not very nice to each it? other. She just came there to well, maybe you can have that on, conversation again. To continue. There is something. Yes. Keys. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you gave my husband all the keys to the Carnivash estate? There seem to be some locked doors. Well, I gave him all I had. But if you don't believe me, why don't you just check for yourself? Well, I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's my okay. You so can have how a look she then do it? In the key, there it is. But how many real estate agents speak like that? Yeah, I know they're not. And then. She's nasty to him as well. Well, I'm not surprised. I, I don't like him. And then let's just search through his filing cabinet. Carnivash estate. All the keys, huh? What's this? It's a very large key. So sue me. So oh. <laughs> sue me. <laughs> Seriously? So what do you think of that? <laughs> yes, the conversation. <laughs> the attitude, wow. Yeah, exactly. Do you find it cool that you can explore a house, you can explore a town? So we might finish up... Oh, you're clicking on a house now. Ooh. Oh, those dogs creep me out. Is that like a rock wheeler, I think? That's a real guard dog. Yeah. He doesn't look friendly. But I'm going to press it anyway. Good dog. Good boy. That's not good boy. That's, That's scary bad boy. boy. Bad boy. Anyway, we'll, we'll finish it up here. Who checks other people's letterboxes? <laughs> well, she does because she seems very and rude. And it seems the dog can't notice that she's, he thinks yeah. she's a Mr. Bit. Malcolm. We pretty much, you get the idea of this game. You haven't seen how creepy and stuff it gets, obviously. It is a very scary game. It was actually, it, there was so much complaint about parents and stuff. And, you know, this is such a bad game. It's so violent and stuff. We shouldn't have this mm -hmm. um, for people to look at. At, that it actually made it get get popular and people bought it and stuff. You get, right. you get what I mean? So it was kind of, it kind of worked that yeah, way. Yeah, that's not surprising. People are often interested in things that they've that, been told they yeah, should really, yeah, have you shouldn't or do or don't look All the look law at. stuff. Yeah, but anyway. Because I just like the, the, the common thing, don't look and you look. Yeah. So anyway, that's basically what Phantasmagoria is all about. Mm -hmm. It's about trying to explore and, you know, try and figure out what's going on with this house. It does get much scarier later on. 
But you're not going to experience that now because we are going to end this video off here. Okay. So, uh, what do you think of full motion video? You've tried it in one game so far. It was This was the peak of popularity of it. And then after this, it kind of... It, there were still more popular games that came out that were better than this. It mm -hmm. used full motion video, but it just wasn't that popular. What do you think of it? Oh, like, it got popular, but it faded. I can see it's a novelty. Yeah, it's something that's cool. Like, wow, yeah, look at this. But yeah. then it's kind of like... It's a novelty, it but it can laugh. wear off. It's not great yeah, with the gameplay. Definitely. And it feels slow and yeah. Well, anyway, we will see you guys next year for 1996 with yet another game. See ya. Okay, bye.